There's a brand new AI chatbot platform, it's called Grok, and it could answer any prompt in almost real-time speed. This is called Grok with a Q, by the way, and it's different than the one on Twitter with a K. I'll talk about that in a second. Now let me show you the speed here, then I'll show you exactly how this Grok platform works. So on the left side, I have GPT 3.5, it's the free version, because Grok is also a free website here. And I'll press send, and I'll press send here. And if you look up here, it's going to say basically how many tokens per second is processing. This is close to 300. Sometimes it's closer to 450 tokens, which is in this case was about 300 words or so. Now, before I show you some of the options here and how it works, two important notes. Grok here with a Q is, again, a different model than the one that you're using on Twitter called Grok with a K. That's the one I'm paying for right now. That's a paid upgrade on the Twitter platform. But when I looked into it, it turns out Grok, this one with a Q, is actually a much older company and they have the trademark on this name. So they just published a letter to Elon Musk saying, please change the name of your AI chatbot. We've had this for a long time. I thought it was the other way around. They just named this because this is the first I've heard of this company. But this is actually a hardware company. So Grok, like ChatGPT, like Gemini, is not a large language model. Okay, so what it's doing is running large language models here just on this website, grok.com. So you could run Llama 2, which is the one from Meta. This is an open source platform. And you could also run Mixtrol here. And this one is grayed out right now, but I'm assuming it will roll out different language model from the same company. These are all open source models, basically. I usually don't cover open source on this platform because I found ChatGPT and Gemini really outperform them. But again, this is totally free and it's available right now for you to test out and it's extremely fast. So one of the reasons that really impressed me with this platform is almost a real time speed. Now, from time to time, it still is limited on the specific website just because it's going viral right now. So you may not get your request put in right away to get that instant speed that I just got in that version, especially when I use Mixtrol. More people are using this model right now on this website. You basically were in a wait list, but the generation still was almost in real time when your time was up. Let me explain quickly why Grok is so fast because this might completely change how other large language models actually run in the background. So Grok is a hardware company. So what they built is this thing called the LPU. So LPU stands for Language Processing Unit. This is a hardware and this is what's actually powering these large language models, the open source ones here, to run so fast. So this is the first of its kind. So they plan on running different large language models and I'm assuming other AI models on top of this new technology. And other models that we were used to, ChatGPT for example, runs on GPUs. So Nvidia makes graphic cards, those GPUs, and those GPUs are the way every single large language models and AI model is being powered. And they basically have a bunch of blog posts and a bunch of different benchmarks, but you can see Grok is all the way over here, everybody else is over here, and that's based on the tokens per second that I showed you that it generates. Again, it's using a whole different hardware in the background. Now, let me quickly show you this website and the different things you could do. And then I'll show you exactly how they make money because using this website is really not their business model. But this is now a free version of a large language model that you could use on this website. So you could modify any output here. And look how quick this is. If I want to get an educator tone out of it, I could click that. And that's pretty fast. It'll show us 280 tokens per second that it generated. So modifying it, and you'll see right here, it says active request. It had that stop sign. That's what I was talking about. Sometimes you might be standing in a line, but that's nothing to do with the hardware processing. That's, I'm assuming, the virality and causing this website to create that line. But look at that. Every time I'm getting close to 300 using Llama 2 right here. I'm using the Llama 2 model. So you could change your model. So you're technically getting a couple of different chatbots inside of one website or large language model inside of one website. And a couple other settings, you could go over here. This is the system prompt. So if you're used to ChatGPT, you could basically set custom instruction at that account level. This works in a similar way. So I have different videos about custom instructions. So if you want to add them here, add them to your system. And for more advanced users here, there's the system settings where you could see the different things like your token output. Llama is set to this 4K token output. 
but mixed roll is set to 32,000. So you'll see that change over here. And again, these are some more advanced settings. If you are a advanced prompt engineer that you could tweak here. Now, how useful is this website? Well, it's very limited if you're used to things like ChatGPT and Gemini because this has no internet access of any kind. We don't have things like custom GPTs, plugins. This is just a straight open source large language model that is powered by this new processing speed, right? So if you want speed, this one beats everything. It's not even remotely close. So they're really demoing that for you to show you how fast this is. So that's why I wanted to show you because this could be the first time we're seeing a whole different tech behind the scenes that could really change how we move forward. And maybe we don't use GPUs down the line and we use this kind of processing. And they also have API access. So this is why they're really demoing this website to show you that you could access the Llama API here and they have a 10 day free trial. This is application only so you could go ahead and apply, but it's extremely cheap relative to most APIs that I've seen out there. So if you're trying to build something using this kind of tech, this might be worth a look instead of paying maybe OpenAI for their API or Claude for their API or Gemini. This is just another alternative here where you could get API access. I'm only making this video to demonstrate speed. As far as usability, obviously ChatGPT, Claude and Gemini are gonna be at a whole different level. But speed, this is in its own category. So really worth a try, grok.com. Hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.